Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to make an obelisk, a garden tutor, or a trellis, whatever you want to call it. So the main frame of this is going to be made out of two by twos, but I'll put a uh, list of all of the materials in the description for you. And for the sake of my southern accent, I will just be calling this a trellis from now on. Um, first off, we are going to start off by cutting uh, one by twos. So the one by twos are used for the decorative outside arrow shaped uh, boards that, that run up the trellis. And that's all that I'm doing here is uh, making a point uh, on all four of these that you will be needing uh, to decorate the outside of that. And I'm doing that but just by cutting 45s. And if you'd like to ensure a straight arrow, uh, make a cross mark there uh, from your first 45. Now we're going to be cutting the legs. Uh, I'm just doing an in cut here because I use reclaimed material. Um, the legs are all seven foot long. So I'm just marking that and I will make my, my seven foot cut. Since this is gonna be in the shape of a pyramid, we'll be using miters and bevels. So a seven degree miter and a seven degree bevel is what we will be using to cut all of our legs. So once you're set to seven and seven, just slide the board down after you've made your first cut and just cut the end. And we're going to repeat this process for all four of our legs. Seven degree miter, seven degree bevel. Slide the board down. And now to make the side uh, square segments that go up the triangle, we're going to be using the same seven degree bevel, but we're going to change our miter to 45 degrees. This will allow enough of an angle that it will be touching your legs um, as it gradually goes up on the bottom and the top. So we keep it from leaving a gap at the top if we just, just did the 45s all the way around. So what you're seeing me cut here are the first four uh, parts that we need to do the small square. Uh, those are 10 inches long, and now I'm cutting the 15 inch long material. And I've just set a stop block up for each uh, length uh, just to make cutting a little bit quicker. But what you're seeing me do is I will cut the angle and then flip the board completely over opposite the fence that it was sitting. So you're gonna turn the board twice. And you will do this for every single one of the, um, the parts that you cut for the squares. And now I'm cutting the, uh, the 25 inch uh, material. Um, so once I get done with this, we will have four 10 inch, four 15 inch, four 20 inch, and four 25 inch. And that's what we'll need for the wraparound squares. And here's a uh, little view of what we have so far, the cuts that we've made. And if you notice the post cap in the back and the cap plate, we'll get into that shortly. Okay, so now we're gonna start assembling our uh, squares that go uh, up the trellis. Um, this may take a little bit of trial and error. Maybe you have to use a little wedge there like I have uh, because of the bevel um, to get those miters to line up. But once you get the hang of it, it actually goes pretty quick. Um, for this, that's all that I'm using is wood glue. And then I'm just tacking in uh, a few nails just to hold it in place until that glue dries. Uh, exterior wood glue would be uh, best for this project. But it's really not all that important because later I'm actually going to be screwing all of these into place. So after I did my first one, I found out that it is easier to get these lined out uh, if you lay them out on your table with all of the longest edges facing each other. So you'll have a little bit of a gap and then you'll roll the board forward until it matches the 45. And then we're just gonna tack those into place and see the little gaps there, but we're touching on the inside and just roll forward. And then I'm gonna glue and tack. All right, now our little project is actually starting to look like something. Uh, we have our legs done and we have our squares done. Uh, let's start putting this thing together. And to do that, I'm gonna start with this three and a half by three and a half post cap plate. Uh, you can buy it, you can build it, whatever you'd like to do. 
I'm just dividing this into four equal sections and I'm making countersink marks close to the center there at an angle because I'm actually gonna be using these spots to uh, insert a screw to hold the legs together, uh, at least until the glue dries. And once I have my countersink, I'm gonna go ahead and pre-drill these just so I don't have any issues later on. Now to make this part easier, we're gonna stack the four legs together to where the longest points are in the center. I'm just gonna draw a circle around that for reference. And for another reference, I'm just going to uh, make straight lines all around the bottom of my uh, cap plate just so I can line everything up whenever we go to uh, put it onto the ends. Okay, so we're going to connect the top two to the plate first. We're going to line it up, and I'm going to pre-drill this first one. Uh, once we get it in, it'll be a lot easier to uh, manipulate the others. A little bit of wood glue and an inch and a quarter uh, deck screw is what I'm going to use to connect the leg to the cap. I'm going to repeat this process for the left side. We're going to glue, we're going to line up using the marks that we've made, pre-drill, and put in our screw. Now in order to get the pyramid shape, uh, we need to flip everything completely over. So our bottom board now need to go onto the top. And I'm using a 2x4 here. Um, and moving it in until it lines up with our markings on the inside of our plate. And then we're just gonna repeat the process that we used uh, for the bottom. Uh, Pre-drill glue and screw it in. Um, these screws and the glue um, will just keep it in place while we're working with it. But the squares that we're gonna be putting around the edges are what's gonna be tying everything together. And I'm gonna start by putting the bottom one on. Uh, this is the most important um, because it's going to determine how far down the rest of these will go. Uh, I have actually measured up 16 inches from the bottom uh, and have a little line there. And if you notice, I have everything clamped into place so the legs don't move. I'm pre-drilling and countersinking at the same time for my two and a half inch um, deck screws that I'm going to be using to hold this thing together. Okay, so now we can add the rest of our squares on, one by one, and the top one there I had to flip uh, because there will be a specific angle that you have to, uh, to put it in to make that pyramid. And again, I'm just pre-drilling, countersinking at the same time um, for my deck screws that I'm going to be using. And you want a deck screw in the end of every single board all the way around. And now for the little decorative arrow pieces that we cut earlier, um, I'm going to find the center of the second square down and find the height that I want, which in my case was about eight inches, and just clamp that into place. And after finding center of my 20 inch board here, I'm just going to uh, pre-drill and put in a little one and a quarter inch uh, deck screw. Same thing for the bottom. And then I'll remove my clamp from the top and uh, repeat the same process for that. And you know the process, um, turn, repeat, turn, repeat. And now we're ready for the post cap. I'm just going to drill this hoe out just a little larger that way I can thread this in um, good and snug, at least until the wood glue dries. And there you have it, now you're done. You have a beautiful trellis that's ready for paint, stain, or you can just leave it natural. Hey, thanks for watching this video. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, hit that subscribe button and uh, the notification for more.